Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Guys, this game is all sorts of a mess right now on FC24. We have Team of the Year leaving today, Road to the Final coming in, EA responded about the 86 plus Team of the Year League's messy situation, the player pick. They responded, they released a statement. I want to talk about that and look at it. And also, there's a card in this game right now that should not be on the game and it is this telecard who i just bought for 50k and sold him for 70,000 coins he got upgraded if you had a silver version in your club it might all of a sudden have turned into this 86 rated we had to talk about that because the ea mistakes are on a roll right now what did we say earlier this week when they start they usually get on a roll that has been so true to see these past couple days we have a lot to talk about today guys with road to the final if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up Subscribe if you're new. Let's go back in time real quick and talk about yesterday's content to start things off with marquee matchups. Not much to say here. Get your marquee matchups done if you want some tradable packs, of course. During Team of the Year, last few hours this morning into today, get those SBCs open, get those packs open for a last chance at a Team of the Year. Same thing with this 84 times 11. I know a lot of you guys probably got this done yesterday when it was dropped. It was leaked. We knew that it was coming. And the price, yeah, it's a little expensive. But it's not expensive for, like, knowing that Team of the Year's are in packs. And this is, once again, a decent upgrade pack. 84 rated with 286s and an 85 rated with the Team of the League squad. So craftable if you're doing upgrades. Expensive if you look at it at its face value. It's like 85,000 coins. And what makes it even more expensive and honestly dumb is the fact that EA required 286s to be a part of this 84 times 11 SBC. And what fodder was already extinct yesterday when this SBC came out? Oh yeah, 86s. They were all max price. The cheapest 86s on the market are not actually 12, 13k as it's listed here. All of these gold cards are extinct. If you click on them and look at their prices, you see like he's max price 13k. Kavich is not on the market, right? You have to go to these special cards to find the cheapest 86 rates in the game and they're right around 20k. Same thing with the 87s. They're all around 20,000 coins as well. Uh, Lucy Bronze, some of these other 87 rates that are in packs actually holding 20k. So just kind of, again, silly that EA would require an 86 rated when they're not even allowing us to purchase them off of the market uh, on this game because of price ranges. So update the price ranges or don't require them. That makes like common sense to me, but it did into EA yesterday. So that's that. I mean, not a bad SBC. We did pack a couple people, Team of the Year honorable mentions from those. A lot of double walkouts in those. Uh, so again, only doable though because it is team of the year time and for the last couple of hours of the morning today team of the year cards team of the year icons all of that is still in packs one last chance to send non that now with fodder since people are going to be sending maybe opening their weekend league rewards today before content one last chance at packing a team of the year albeit potentially tradable as well i do think that fodder will drop today a little bit heading into content i think it'll drop after content a bit as well with the supply but i also think Depending on what SBCs come out and if the icon pack refreshes, I don't know if it does or not. Like if I look in the game, um, I'm in the middle of doing it and it says repeatable one time. So I don't know if it refreshes today or not. I can't see that. Um, maybe check your guys' game and see if it can. If it does refresh today, you might see a little bit of an uptick on the 88s because on Wednesday when this refreshed, 88s went boom uh, when this SBC refreshed again because especially the 86s and 87s are near their max price. Again, I would sell the 86s and 87s that are at max price. I don't think EA is going to update their ranges uh, in time for them to withstand those prices and continue to be high, higher up just because after today's content drop hits, a lot of the crafting of SBCs is going to slow down. There's a lot of SBCs that are still out. So fodder could be a good watch today for a flip, but only if you see prices go down. Like if, if 89s are back at like, I don't know, under 40,000 coins, if 88s are like 25K, and if 90s are like 55K, like it would have to be a pretty significant drop with the supply. They'd have to drop good lightning rounds today, like the 84 times 10 tradable or the 85 times 7 lightning round. Not that a lot of people would be opening it. I just think that'd be a potential kind of situation to watch fodder. So if you want to, if you're interested in fodder, if you want to watch that, that's the part of the market that I would watch today. And those are kind of the movements that I would look out for. Now we're getting a little ahead of ourselves, but let's roll it back to yesterday once again and talk about team of the year prices, guys. There is a lot of FOMO on these cards for sure, because people that want to buy them have the coins to buy them, just see their prices continually to go up. And that's the only way they're going right now, guys. All of these team of the years are absolutely flying. K 
Kevin De Bruyne, 4.2 mil. And there's so much FOMO buying in this. This is why a perfect example of FOMO buying, right? Yesterday, Allison was 590K, which is already up 100K from his lowest point. Kind of we talked about buying him at 500K a couple days ago. If you wanted him for your team, he was still one of the lower ones of team of the year. He went all the way to 800K and was selling there, man. Now, it has to do with rarity too, right? These team of the years, we know they're hard to pack. But like this FOMO buying was crazy. Everybody was buying team of the years yesterday that hadn't bought one yet. And it created some pretty big price spikes and honestly some what you might call like a bubble in terms of the price. Now, some of them are probably going to keep going up and maybe even past that bubble that we saw yesterday. Kevin De Bruyne started the day at 3.7, 3.8 mil, went all the way to 4.2 and he's probably going to go higher guys, right? With the way the promo looks today and with how meta these cards are still going to stay, like these are 100% the best cards in the game. No comparison, at least right now, bar a couple SBC players and maybe an Evo you can create, but still not going to come close to these cards. That's why they're so expensive. They're so rare. And I think they're going to continue to rise today. But there's, again, a lot of FOMO buying. If you really want to buy one of these for your team, man, it's tough because they are so expensive that I just think we're way closer to the peak on these cards. Who did I just sell? I just sold another Tella. I bought both of these at 50k, bro. The lazies in this guy are insane. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, but if you want to watch these team of the years, uh, just be careful. I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to buy them because they are the best cards in the game. And if you want that competitive edge and if you have the coins to splurge, go ahead and do it. But I just feel like we're way closer to the top end of how these prices are going to be than to the low end. It is disgusting uh, how expensive some of these team of the year cards are, but they're rare and they're so good. So that's kind of what's going on there. Also, team of the year honorable mentions, just a quick price check on these and the icons, kind of the same thing. I think the honorable mentions will show more positive movement today if the content is as average as it is looking. So I'm still invested in some of these. That's where a lot of my coins are. And uh, I expect those prices to be going up today. Now, let's talk about the EA tweet because the Messi situation has kind of taken a hold of this game, caused a lot of controversy earlier in the week. I mean, Messi's almost 11 million coins now. Um, of course, a lot of people have him untradeable. But still on the market, he is very rare. EA, just a couple hours ago, tweeted once again, about the team of the year 86 plus leagues player pick SBC, which is the glitched messy player pick. And I'm going to be completely honest, guys. I responded to this tweet and I said, the expected result, we'll read it in a second. Maybe you guys have already seen it, but we'll go over it. I said the expected result, but unexpected communication. Honestly, I, I didn't expect them to tweet about this. That's why I'm saying they actually tweeted about it. GG's, right? That's the only little bit of credit I think I'm going to give them. Um, but yeah, it is the expected result, guys. And I think the only reason that they tweeted about it is because this tweet that they tweeted out about the messy player pick like blew up so massive. Um, and what did it say? We have identified with the 86 plus team of the year leagues SBC 9.3 million views in that tweet. That is like nine times more. All these other tweets have like a million views. Wait, did this readers added context? It states that 0.7% players, of players have obtained Team of the Year Messi. It fails to declare what that is a representation of. I feel like I attributed to that context, bro. Yeah, if you go read my tweet, I said the same thing. Let's go, chat. Let's go. All right, this is what's going on with the situation, right? They said, here's the update. Here's the situation. An SBC was released. Two of those leagues had only one item matching the 86 plus threshold. The rest of the world and MLS, which I guess the rest of the world was um, Cristiano Ronaldo, I guess. The SPC was live for 24 minutes prior to its removal following the identification of a design issue. Design issue. It wasn't supposed to be this OP. Hmm. In that time frame, an estimated 0.7% of Ultimate Team players obtain a Team of the Year Messi item. That's where that 0.7 number, I'm sure some of you guys have seen it if you've been looking at Twitter or X. EA is saying that 0.7% of users got this Messi. Now, here's the thing. 0.7% of ultimate team players. The ultimate team players to me is every single person in the entire world that is logged in to ultimate team. That is a crazy massive number compared to the very small number of people that were on the game on Tuesday for the 24 minutes that had enough fodder, enough coins to get that SBC done before it went away. So in reality, yeah, maybe only 0.7 of ultimate team players got this messy, right? Because they have all the stats. That's a true stat. I don't I don't think that is an incorrect stat. I just think that they're using an incorrect representation to put this stat out. But they want to make it seem like this didn't make that big of an impact, which we all know it did, right? I would have granted I would be I would be pretty accurate, I think, to say that 
on the game on Tuesday when that player pick was released or Wednesday, whenever it was, I would have to say that maybe I think 30% of all active ultimate team users were on in that time frame. But those are the people that we match up with in weekend league and division rivals. And that's why we're still going to see Messi semi often in weekend league and in all those different game modes is because the people that are the hardcores that are you watching this video, like it is tough to grasp how massive the casual user base is that these people probably had no idea that this whole messy thing even went on they barely even knew that messy team of the year was in packs right so that's just kind of kind of to put it in perspective 0.7 percent seems so small but it's actually a lot bigger than that because i think included in this player pool of ultimate team players would be people that like haven't logged on to the game since the beginning of the year or you know maybe they started a second or third account if maybe you guys have two or three accounts like that counts as a separate player potentially so that's why i think this stat is a little bit skewed for the actual impact to the game but that's the stat that they put out. They said, we understand this has caused frustration. We apologize and appreciate your patience. We have explored several scenarios for how to proceed in a way that is both fair and would preserve long-term game health, AKA making them more FC points, money from that. We can confirm the following. Players who completed this SBC while it was available will keep their rewards. Never doubted that. We talked about that. Never would they be taken away messy from you, right? The SBC will not be returning as originally designed. That's the last bullet point. Those are the two things that they are doing going forward. We know this is not a perfect solution. We will continue examining our processes with the aim of minimizing such issues in the future. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, there's no compensation. The SBC is not coming back. And that is how it is. And to be honest, I think the only reason that they had to make this and talk about this is because the tweet that they made on their EAFC direct account exploded a couple days ago. And it's messy. It's team of the year. It's a 10 million, 11 million coin now on the market card. And so I understand a lot of frustration with this, but I think in my mind, after I thought about it and we talked about it on that video a couple days ago, I really just realized like, yeah, guys, we're not getting compensated for this. They're not going to give back the fodder just because it's too similar to the hero pack. And th again, the fact that they even had to write that little kind of like an apology or news statement about that is only because Messi is um, such an expensive card and it blew up on social media to be completely honest. So that's the situation there. They're probably never going to address it again. You're never going to hear about it again, but you will see probably a decent amount of team of the year Messi still in champs this weekend. I would be interested to know, like if you kept track of all the champs games you play this weekend, like how many times you match up against Messi. So it's a bummer, all right, for those of us who didn't get him or those of us who weren't on the game at the time to do that player pick. Sounds like we won't even get a chance to do that player pick while team of the years are still out, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. And Right around, this is the irony, guys. This is the irony with this. Right around the time that they tweeted that out, at the same moment on Ultimate Team, things are just not going well for them right now, guys. The mistakes are rolling because they accidentally dropped one of the Road to the Final cards that's supposed to not be in packs yet. It's kind of like the Christian Eriksen situation. Remember back, I think, at FIFA 22 or something like that? Maybe it was last year. It was Foot Fantasy Christian Eriksen. If you had his gold card in the club, his gold card all of a sudden turned into the new promo card that was supposed to come out the next day. That is exactly what has happened with Nathan Tella. His 74 rated silver card is getting a plus 12 upgrade, a card that's going to come back into packs today. But people who had that silver card in their clubs checked in the last couple of hours and looked, and it all of a sudden morphed into this one. And now this one is on the market selling for about 50,000 coins. He lazy sales great, as you can just see. I bought the card, two of them, because I saw one sell for like 80K. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to list this guy up on the market uh, because like right now he's not on footbin. Um, he is not rare at all. Think about it. A 74 or a 64 rated silver card, 74 rated silver card. He's going to have a lot of supply. A lot of people are going to have him in their club. But I bought two of them now for 50,000 coins, listed them at 70K, and I got lazy sales both times. Probably not going to buy them again because to me, this is like a 20 or a 30,000 coin card, even though it is live and updating. So make sure you check your club because that's the news. Um, I did not have one in my club, unfortunately. And it even sounds like not everybody's was upgraded to that version. Uh, but also you might see this picture of Tela going around. This is actually somebody who had an evolution version of Tela. 
it automatically got a plus 12 rating boost because it was in somebody's club, right? Uh, so everybody who had the silver one got plus 12, right? And it's the road to the final now, the one that you see here in game. But there was some guy that had an Evo version of him, and now he's got a 98 rated Tela card in his ultimate team. So that's crazy. This card is not obtainable, but this one is on the market, and it should not be because, uh, yeah, he's not supposed to be on the market right now because he's not supposed to be in packs until today at 6 p.m. content. So, guys, again, the mistakes are rolling like crazy right now. Um, again, I'm not going to buy this card anymore. I got my two. I made 20K, basically, on two of those cards. I'm going to take my profit and move on from there. That card, to me, should be cheaper than that, even though Leverkusen are absolutely cooking and do have a chance to win Europa League. Let's look at Road to the Final today, right? Today, last call for Team of the Year, which actually... For the video, let's open a pack because I'm going to get on stream hopefully early today and keep ripping through some packs. If any of you guys from the stream know who Eddie is, if I say the name Eddie, one of the mods in the stream, he packed Hanson tonight from one of these premium upgrades. So it's not over until it's over. And I did vow yesterday in the video and on stream that I would open the 500,000 coin pack with coins today if I did not pack a team of the year um, up until the content drop. And as of right now, I have not packed anything else. Yesterday, um, I did pack Trent right after the stream ended. So I do have a Trent Alexander-Arnold now um, in my club. That is another honorable mention that I have. But no other blues. I even took the counter off the screen for now other than Millie Bright. So I'm hoping to pack one more, and we'll open that big pack today right before Road to the Final if we don't get one. So link to the stream is down below in the description. We're going to be crafting packs for last chance send but with the cards that are coming into packs today is it worth saving any packs for here's the full team that's been leaked we saw a couple leaks yesterday man i know these stats are a prediction guys um but even after seeing that nathan tella card that has been dropped in the game did they have the exact same stats as nathan tella actually in the game did, is there a little bit of a do they know the stats of these guys no they had different stats for tella than what is actually on the card they're close but not quite Okay, like guys, we got Leal, we got Jesus, Pedri, Cruz, Ansu Fati, Lindsey Horan. That's going to be a nice card. Uh, D Darwin Nunez is maybe one of the biggest names in this promo team. Lukaku, Donnarumma, um, Emerson, you know, er uh, Bai. You got Zambo Anguisa. That's going to be a cracked card. He's always good. He had a road to the knockouts last year, though, so it feels a little bit of like a copy paste. This promo team looks just okay. And again, these are live cards, right? That's the biggest thing as we looked at it yesterday. These are live cards that do have the chance to upgrade, but they won't upgrade probably for about three, two and a half, three weeks when you had the first games of the knockout rounds, the first legs of those first games as well. Uh, that counts for their first upgrade, but they're live. And again, guys, we just think that they're going to be one play style plus. Uh, because a playstyle plus is one of the added benefits and one of the upgraded features as they progress down the line and if their team keeps winning in each of the different competitions. So, yeah, guys, it, it kind of looks... It kind of just looks average right now. You might be like, Nate, is this a one-week promo or a two-week promo? That is still unknown. I'm leaning towards one-week promo, but I could see it being either, either way. The only reason why I'm leaning towards that is all the big clubs are represented in this picture. You got Arsenal, you got Barcelona, you got Real Madrid, you got PSG, you got Atletico Madrid. We're talking Champions League teams. There's only two massive clubs that are missing from at least the Champions League, and that is uh, Manchester City, which we had a later leak on for Gavardiol. He had a radioactive card a couple weeks ago. Looks like he's getting a live item road to the final Gavardiol, prem center back. That could be a nice card for sure. So that's coming as a road to the final card, but there's no Bayern player, and I think there's got to be a Bayern player in this promo team. So unless they end up splitting this up into two different teams which would in my opinion even make it more of an l unless they're going to give us more conference league europa league or women's players because right now we have two conference league cards like we can do a little better than that ea in my opinion and even with like one two three four five six europa league we can do a little bit better than that as well in my opinion so i hope it's two weeks well i kind of don't hope that it's two weeks well as well because of how this looks and how hype it looks doesn't look that amazing, right? I would rather future stars coming around, kind of like we talked about yesterday. But we'll just have to see what other content comes out around this. Guys, what's going to be a real big question today is, I know I have a duplicate, so I'll quick sell this one card here. I don't like to do this, but um, I'll quick sell this one card here as it's one non-rare to go to the store. Um, the pack weight today is going to be really, really intriguing. I mean, it's almost 
like guaranteed that you're going to see these cards on the market more, of course, than the team of the years. But all these packs expire today. There are a couple of new packs in the code. Remember the 83 times 50 pack that was supposed to contain three guaranteed honorable mentions? Well, there's another 83 times 50 pack that was added to the code that is like road to the final specific. That could be coming out this weekend. But I have to imagine that, you know, you're going to see a higher percentage than like 3% or 2% on all these road to the knockout cards. It's actually probably going to be annoying to check pack percentage because you're going to have pack percentages listed for each of the different item types but you're going to see a lot more of them on the market the only thing that i don't know about is like how many packs are actually going to be open today if you think about it right uh are the car designs in here okay road to the knockouts no they're not even in here uh road to the final now nah, there's no road to the final because they would be under this tab for uefa or ucl road to the final so they're not even in the game yet which is interesting but i just can't imagine that a ton of people are opening lightning rounds or look at this team and they're like Yo, I got to have these cards, especially after opening packs all week for like the past two weeks with team of the year being out and such the pack grind that it is. So these cards might end up being a little expensive today um, or they could end up being decently cheap just because the pack weight could be turned up and um, that'll be interesting to watch. So maybe some of the top tier cards are really expensive though, um, just because a lot of the top tier cards in team of the year are expensive. So we'll have to see. Now, SBCs, we do have two SBC players that are leaked, one of which is going to come today, in my opinion, Lautaro Martinez. I would think they would want to start off on a Friday with a Champions League player SBC. He is a leaked SBC, of course, uh, representing Inter. Decent card could be pretty good. I mean, they need to give him a solid upgrade, though. I don't know. Does his base gold card have a playstyle plus? I mean, if you're Argentinian, this is a must-do for sure. But um, for me, Latar Martinez, I don't know. He's sometimes a really good a really good card in this game. He's got an 89-rated inform. It's 4-star, four 4-star. Four no playstyle plus. Man, he needs a big playstyle revamp. He's got Trivella. He's got technical. He is controlled. 5 foot nine with, I mean, really solid dribbling, really good shooting, and really good physical. So this could be a nice card, as long as it's cheap. Maybe they give him, like, I doubt they give him a skills or a weak foot upgrade, though, because, again, that's part of the whole progression into the card getting upgraded for Champions League. So probably going to be small upgrade for that. It's going to be 90 rated, like the picture shows. Hopefully it's cheap then for sure, um, especially because it's a live card. You hope that it gets upgrades. The other SBC is maybe even more exciting, David Neres. Um, and Nerez's is card in an inform earlier on this year that actually during the other UCL promo, if you remember the Di Maria card that came out, the David Nerez inform was extinct forever. And he's actually so rare on this game. I just searched his card. He only has like less than one page on the entire market. But this card early game was absolutely cracked. He's got base five star skills. He can play right side and center attacking mid. It's his dribbling and wow, all those play styles, finesse, power shot, um, flare, trickster, technical, rapid, trivella. Sorry, not rapid. Quick step and trivella. I mean, this could be a this could be a banger card. Really could be. Hopefully, he is around 87 rated whenever he drops, whether it is today or whether it is on the weekend. So I think there might even be more hype for this SBC than there would be for Lautaro Martinez. But one of those two is going to be coming today for sure. And then also, I would reach into uh, the objectives part of the game and say that we're probably getting a new objective today because the year in review is going away as well um, if you guys wanted to get this done it is going to be going away today so we'll probably have something in here actually i think almost all these except for the team of the year champs bonus and the team of the year cup are going to be going away at least for those that are team of the year related oh yeah was this a part of like ea saying sorry for the whole messy situation they dropped a random bonus objective that you can play one match in any ultimate team game mode to get 500 xp and a lone team of the year player pick. I don't know if this is a whole part of like the sorry situation of the whole team of the year messy fiasco, but uh, they dropped a random bonus objective. So war a compensation from EA, I guess is what we'll say on that. Uh, the only other thing that I think we could see today that actually might be earlier on in the day is La Liga player of the month. This was our week and ultimate team tweet that EA put out. I don't even think I've seen a leak on who is going to be the La Liga player of the month, but that SBC could be coming out today as well probably an hour or two hours before content so watch out for that one right there and uh other than that evolutions we get an evolution almost every single promo friday and there is an evo that is leaked right now first thing i want to draw your attention to is um the skill moves training this evo is going away i actually need to play a couple games really fast because i'm in the process of putting jesus Fedeta into it i need to play two rivals or champs games so that i can complete this evo 
put him into the skill move and get him from two star to three star, which is still not great, but um, it's an upgrade. We are probably getting an Evo today. I just don't know what it is, if it's going to be related to Road to the final somehow. I doubt they're going to have a special design for this promo. We had a team of the year design specifically, and they like to go one promo on, one promo off with like the special designs, it seems. So if we don't have a promo design for this one, we might just have a regular Evo. Or uh, it could be related to Heroes, which is what the leak is. A Hero Striker Evolution is set to come to Ultimate Team soon. And I think whoever has the leaks about this knows who's going to be in it because a guy like Tevez... Um, and Aloe Weyrin absolutely soared yesterday from 80,000 coins up to 120k and now he's back down he was just 100k again and now he's going back up to like 113 I think um, Aloe Weyrin as well with the striker secondary position on his card 46k man Aloe Weyrin just is not the same as he was uh, earlier wow wait he's back down again he was 41 and he's back down to 46 after being 75k that card is undoubtedly going to rise in the hype again today if he actually fits that evo that's crazy i don't know if he does or not but uh that's pretty wild it'd be wild as well if tevez fits the evo so maybe you keep a look at these cards today and watch them but all the he the the hero and the icon evos that we've had this year have not been that good so i wouldn't be expectant of the evo today if it is related to the um heroes to be that crazy so unless there's something else that gets leaked or that gets put out there, you know, just keep an eye on these cards. But I don't think they're going to move too crazy much unless the Evo is actually really cracked. Now, I want to talk about market, too, because all the stuff we're talking about today, just I keep using the word mid or I keep using the word L, right? Um, yeah, that's kind of how it feels this whole last week, apart from all of the news and everything, right? It just seems kind of mid, but it's actually meant really good things for the market. So if you're kind of transitioning out of like the team of the year pack spam and you're like, Nate, what do I grind in this game today? Just do the easy work on the market. And the easy work on the market today is going to be hopefully watching these Team of the Year Honorable Mentions cards go out of packs and rise, right? I would focus on cards like Musiala, uh, Kane, Trent's already back up a little bit, starting to rise, Bernardo, um, Kim and Jay, the rare ones. I think the rare ones are going to do the best. They'll have the biggest rises maybe today. I'm still holding on to all the Honorable Mention cards that I have bought. But the easy work on the market today is going to be finding four or five cards from older promo teams, getting on bids, Especially if there's like, let's say the Lautaro drops out today. Maybe you look at more like Serie A related cards or maybe some Argentinian cards from recent promo teams like Winter Wild cards, the Versus Fire and Ice. Guys, getting on bids for these, whatever whatever budget you're in. We got cards here that are, you know, 100K, 40,000 coins for Lamptey, 200K for an Adiemi. We've got 400,000 coin Renato Sanchez. You know, we've got 100,000 coin Courtois. We got cards in the millions. Get on bids because these cards, again, if the content is going to be just okay and, and mid, there might be a couple of drops around the content drop as people see something new that comes out. Like if Lautaro comes out, you know, strikers could dip a little bit. Watch a Dybala. Um, if uh, Neres were to come out, maybe this Rafinha would drop, right? A Brazilian right wing with five-star skills, even though it's not as good of links potentially. Maybe he's got a better play style plus. That could make his card drop, that sort of thing. But just get on bids with these cards today because they're in demand they're rare people have coins obviously look at the prices of team of the years finally jude bellingham is up 700,000 coins right waited ages for that card to go up after uh some of you guys wanted to buy it for your team and the team of the year is now like what's his team like six or seven million coins something bananas this messy is 1.8 that is crazy yeah just get on bids guys bids for literally anything out of packs that is a popular player popular card it will should do good today because the market just does not seem like there's a whole lot of panic on it. And a lot of people, um, yeah, I still think are going to be going out and buying cards, playing Weekend League because uh, there's still a lot of people that are going to be playing this game, even though the hype and everything for Team of the Year has kind of dwindled off. The fact that it's been such a grindy game over the past 43K for Alawaren, I'm going to pick that up. Um, such a grindy game with the upgrade packs and stuff people are used to being on. And uh, I think that that'll show on the market this weekend, and we could have a nice little market liftoff. So we're going to be streaming live today, trying to pack a team of the year. One last attempt at doing so, and let's end with a pack. Guys, I will say, don't sleep on these 81 plus doubles. They're not amazing, but sometimes... Sometimes they hit, all right? Sometimes they hit. So we're going to keep ripping upgrades today. If you're excited for the promo today, drop a thumbs up on it, uh, on the video. If you're excited because Team of the Year is ending and you actually feel like you might be able to have a promo where you can pack cards, drop a thumbs up as well. Check the links down below in the description. Comment down below if you have any questions, thoughts, comments on the EA situation. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you watched the video this long, drop a sub. All right, guys. That's going to be the video for me today. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.